And welcome back to a Wanna Bet podcast with Brandon and Brendan. Part two. Part two of the COVID discussion. Yeah. Well, the other one was like half of COVID discussion. So this one probably be like half of that and then like half of shitting my pants or something will come up. Yeah. Or something. Sure. Yeah. So we were talking uh after that episode ended about like my views on it uh-huh. and the fact that like this And we stopped talking about it. Yeah, because he wanted me to bring it up here. Uh, and this might offend people who have like been through some uh-huh. like horrible stuff of recent, but like this year has not been bad for me. And what do you mean by that? Like financially, like but you were laid off. I was laid off. So at the at the at the start of the year, I was working at a place I've been working for four years. And then when all this happened, I was one of the first people to get laid off. And when I got laid off, I called you almost immediately uh-huh. when I got laid off. Like, I was like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? Blah, uh-huh. blah, blah. And I was worried. And then I started to do the unemployment. Uh-huh. And I never understood how unemployment worked. I'd never been on unemployment my entire life. Um, at that time, they were giving out that, that extra money uh-huh. for the unemployment. And because of what was going on, you didn't have to like you didn't have to apply for a job, right? You just at the end of the week had to fill out a form, write your name to get it the next week. To get it the next week, uh huh. They were like, because of everything going on, it's hard to find jobs. You don't have to apply or do anything. So it was just like weeks of getting like eight hundred and fifty like a week, uh huh. And I was I was unemployed for like three months. I got that for three months. It was me in my apartment alone, not having to drive. You know how we drive for work. We yeah. drive like miles on our cars. It's right. ridiculous. I wasn't driving, wasn't uh-huh. going anywhere. I had I had a place to get food right around the corner. Right. I had a park right by the back of my house. Right. I'm glad you're going there. I want to stop you. And, and be so mad at me, don't you? No, I want to interrupt you because okay. we were talking at this time. And we like Skyped a few times. I don't think we ever, ever Skyped. Yeah, we did. Okay. And you were cooking like eggs or something. And you were like, I was like, I want to see your place. Cause I couldn't believe your kitchen was like so small. And I was like, it's, I want to see your apartment. And then you showed me your apartment. It's not and, small. It was a 1200 square foot okay, apartment. That's thank pretty, you for that's saying a, that. It's a pretty big it's huge, apartment. Right. Yeah. That's my, that's, that's your point. one level of mm-hmm. my, of my house. Right. Mm-hmm. But what I thought was funny was that you had zero furniture in that place. I had furniture, but no, for the space, didn't. I'm calling you out on the record. No, you had a couch, a, a TV that was like mediocre size, and then like <laughs> yeah. whole rooms that had <laughs> nothing in it's it. Okay, okay, all right. Well, I, that wall must have. You had like cathedral ceilings on that one side. Yeah, right? I did. Which, yeah, so which it made the TV look, look a lot True. smaller. Okay. okay, but then when you scroll to like another wall where there could have been a couch or at least a picture or something, it was bare. And then like you scrolled like another area, yep. and there was nothing there but like a shoebox. And I laughed. I couldn't. <laughs> I could not contain how much I laughed. How little things you had as an adult it was comical to me i was like i felt bad i I wanted to donate money for you and you like didn't brush your hair like it was not what are you talking now and now you're just talking about your ass i'm not i'm not i'm not brushing my hair i'm not i'm not you look terrible even though you might have been making more money than you ever made in your life because of this pandemic you weren't taking care of yourself oh at that time i passed a kidney stone so that may have been one of the times you called me okay you think you were taking care of yourself like playing video games all day, never leaving. I wasn't getting first any of all, sun. first of all, that's that isn't what I was doing. Uh-huh. Uh I was staying up at like to like eleven o'clock, which for at least for me is like staying up really late. Uh-huh. And I was sleeping until like eight or nine. But uh-huh. I was being active. I was going out, I was going to the parks, I was going for runs. I was actually being active. I was playing a lot of basketball. Granted, all by myself. But right. just, but I I was outside. But weren't like most parks like roped off? Like, no. How'd you Okay. They didn't rope off any of the basketball courts. So okay. I just, I just like, I went to the basketball courts. So no, I, no, I had a good time. I had a, f- that might've just been my interpretation of it, but you didn't look good. And it might've no. been the kidney stone time. It probably but was. If this was the, if this year I mean, it hasn't been that bad, I would say when I talked to you, you looked super depressed. So in that apartment, I had a loft uh-huh. and all my, st- all my cool stuff and everything was up in the loft. I turned that <laughs> area into like a man cave and then like two but months. It's your place. Then- so. Like the whole place is a man cave. I, I, it could have been, but uh-huh. I, but if I was going to stay there a long time, I wanted to have like the uh-huh. when you walk in, it's not like all my like 
all my like sports things yeah. and all my bands. So I had that all upstairs. So for like the first like month and a half I was there, I was hanging out upstairs. And then I was like, why am I walking upstairs? I had three TVs. One was on the main floor. So I just stopped walking upstairs to uh -huh. go hang out. Cause I was like, this is weird. You're hanging out upstairs in your own place. Okay. And everything just stayed upstairs. All right. Well, we got really off topic of the COVID yeah, thing, which we, is- No, actually we, we didn't. Cause we were talking, I was talking about what I did when I was uh -huh. like, so I was off work. Right. And then- you got the unemployment. I got unemployment. Uh -huh. And then like. And then you got depressed. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't get depressed. Uh -huh. And then I got hired back. Uh -huh. And I've been working ever since I came back. So, I mean, for me, it hasn't been that bad of a year. Right. I understand it's hard because I don't, I don't have like a family that's like. Yeah. Like, I mean, and I everybody take was care in, of anyone but myself. I feel like everybody was in your same boat. If you worked at McDonald's, mm -hmm. you still would have got the same thing. Well, yeah. it would have been a little bit less because you didn't get as much. You probably maxed out the unemployment for what you normally would make for a the year. Income. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, the only choice was if you wanted to pay taxes on it or not mm -hmm. and get more money or not, which is fine. I always pay taxes. I, I was never upset with that. If that's what you're going to do. Yeah, of course. Or you got to get like everybody to not pay their bills and then the banks not pay their bills and then yeah. the economy just stop. Yeah. Right? It's, it's not so, like I was getting a lot of money and hoarding onto it and like, and like saving a lot of money. Like my apartment is really expensive. Uh -huh. So that actually like I had to work a lot to pay for that apartment. Uh -huh. So that was the only horrible thing. It was like really expensive. So when I worked, I worked just to pay that apartment. It was a pain in the ass. So the unemployment actually helped me for like once to be like, have a little bit of like, like space. I wasn't uh -huh. like, wasn't making a lot m like more money, but it would put like extra hundred, no, it put like a, no because how much my apartment was, it would and mm -hmm. and what I was paying for my car and everything, it maybe put an extra hundred in my pocket every week. So that's uh -huh. like four hundred a month, which so is a lot. My my wife had the same situ like same situation mm -hmm. like there where she works, they got closed down too, and like a, we figured it out. It was a thousand dollars more a month because more? yeah because mm -hmm. it was what she would make if she didn't pay taxes on what she normally made. And it did help, right? Mm -hmm. But like the, I don't think you're like made to be around your kids like that <laughs> all the time, right? Like it's like you need the separation, you need the work, you need, and yeah. like she's around, you know, that's what she does, but it's still like, you know, they need to go out and play or they need to go they do have this, to have influences this, from yeah. other places right like uh -huh. you guys are great but yeah. they still there's still stuff you don't do that other people you know there's yeah. just influences uh -huh. that they need all to around learn. yeah yeah and i i 100 agree with you with that uh because they're all going to end up like homeschool kids right which well, i think you know what i mean that's not what i want exactly right. you we want someone who's able to like interact with people mm -hmm. and uh it may be it may be a problem for a while yeah that's mm -hmm. I, that's my biggest fear, and that like it's just gonna be you're only gonna be able to get your stuff from like five places, you know. Now, are, you, are I'm sorry, are you afraid that like this is how school will be from now on? I, I'm afraid, yeah, because from just like, like now on, there's no like be, for like, what for what like we, we had <clears throat> for what we do. If you could save a million dollars a year as a business and have your employees work at home where they're not as productive, but they're still working mm -hmm. and not have a cornerstone, like uh, a K street address. Mm -hmm. Right. And still do where you're paying, um, you know, a, you know, $8,000 a square foot, you know, so your whole floor is, you know, it's over a million dollars a year and that's just your overhead. Mm -hmm. If you could save that and then pay your employees to work from home and, maybe not have as much production, but you're still saving that million dollars a year. I think there would be an outcry over that though. I, I honestly <laughs> think that everyone would be like, this isn't, I'm not, I'm talking, I'm talking about like not just fortune 500 companies, but I'm talking about maybe they don't lease the whole floor. Maybe they only lease a corner. of No, it, right? I, it's still a huge amount of money yeah. and overhead that doesn't really need to be there for most businesses. Mm -hmm. They can handle, what they're doing from their home, as long as they're tied into the server or whatever yeah. for their business. But I was talking more for like schools. Uh huh. Like, I'm just saying this is like, but it's not just schools. It's like well, everything. Well, I, I think schools have to be like put apart from like offices and stuff because <clears throat> schools, offices aren't made for you to 
mm-hmm. like to learn how to interact with people. Yeah. You're you're on to that phase already. You're you're past all that. Schools like fundamentally are made to help you learn how to interact with like what you what you should be expecting the rest of your life. Right. But yeah. what if it's not just teachers like what if it's like a year from now they decide they're just going to record all the teacher speeches ahead of time well then we're going to be our education which is just be already videos. not great you're just watching videos all day yeah, to get you can't that, ask a, if you ask a question it's like a you're just typing away to somebody it's pretty much asking it's asking for google yeah it's ask jeeves right yeah. and then you're i i, I hope our education you're only getting one get source like of information you're not getting somebody's opinion where you can grow from it yeah you know and and seeing people's facial expressions and bringing that back up again and actually having conversations you really, with people. You really harp it's on hor- that, huh? it's, it's very important. Really? The facial expressions? Important. Not just that. It's the tone of somebody's voice. It's feeling it in the room. Yeah. Feeling energy off other kids. If some kid in your class decides he's going to flip the desk, uh-huh. if they do that at home, it's funny. If they do that at school, it's different. It's like, this is real. Because you're there. You're living it. Yeah. If you're watching it on a screen, it's not real. Well, yeah. I watched. I showed you that video of that person, uh-huh. right? Mm-hmm. If you saw that in real life, he's talking about a video where a person gets their hands stuck in some sort of machine and it spins them and fillets them apart, and it's 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 very graphic. It's it's not. They good. literally explode. Yeah, it's, it's the grossest it's, thing I've ever their seen. Their hand gets stuck. It takes them into a wheel, and they just get shredded apart, just yeah. like uh, I don't know how to explain. It's just a wheel. It's it's a hard. It's, it's a hard lathe. Hard. It's yeah. a lathe. So it just pulls you around. Yeah, they got stuck there for a yeah. second, like wow the. The cloth and was getting caught, and then it just took the person in. Spun like a wheel on an axle. It was and the terrible. machine is real tight, so they had to squeeze through this tight hole, yeah, and it terrible. just explode. It made them explode. It was the. It was yeah. very gross. Um, I don't wish that on anybody, but uh, what was I saying about that before? I'm sorry, I lost it. <clears throat> I showed you that video. Mm-hmm. But if you were there, so I was saying, if you had to run up and turn that machine off like that person uh-huh. did, it's going to affect you for the rest of your life. Uh-huh. But you watch that video, it might affect you tonight. Uh-huh. But a week from now, you're not going to remember it. Sure, I mean, But yeah. somebody had to turn that off. Yeah. So I'm saying, that's the difference. That's sure. the difference in the somebody flipping the desk at school or somebody in your face yelling at you or somebody making you laugh across the room just by like, pointing at somebody or making a stupid face Mm -hmm. or something like that you don't have that in virtual because everybody can see it yeah no i everybody can see my kid pick their nose on on camera Mm -hmm. you can't hide it like you used to with the yeah the old you Uh never know what i'm doing in there right classic still still works they still don't know it does Uh or the snot rocket well that's just now you can just go off camera with it yeah that's that's a classic though so it has its it has its perks but like my biggest thing is like just those um just the fact that small business might be might be dead well i, I can see if and we be, both work for a small business i i know but i can see it the other way though i see like applebee's like certain applebee's places are closing and tgi fridays are closed and like red lobsters are closed and it's like mm-hmm. good get good like i feel like when we were growing up and yeah like, but nobody's the, taking those spots i think eventually they will i think i think that we're in like a holding pattern right now i think it's gonna be a pain in the ass for a while but i think eventually when like those apple bees aren't there anymore and stuff it'll allow opportunity for small business but to they're, they're still bailed out the corporation part i understand still but it's, i i feel like in the long run it's going to allow people a lot of opportunity in yeah. those spaces because i feel like when we grew up in like the 80s and 90s it was uh-huh. so heavy like mcdonald's burger King, and you know like, a lot of those are franchised well that, we, like there's still people that own those i understand that uh-huh. i understand that i understand how that and so they're still owned by one person who uh-huh. owns them yeah a local person that uh, feeds their family off of it i understand that uh-huh but it allows opportunities for small businesses to grow in other ways too. Like I understand that is a small business though. It is backed by a corporation. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Which is, it is different, but that no longer has their own creative but idea. You, you were talking about like a mom it. and pop. Uh huh. And so that's what I was referring to. Right. So that yeah, would but be they still go hand away from a corporation. Right. You wouldn't call it an is. Applebee's owner a mom and pop. Right. That's true. I'm with you. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> and moo i get it yeah right so that's okay that's the point i was making. okay 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 all right okay. all right okay. i got it yeah 
So go ahead. I mean, no. So I, I just, as I was saying, I think like when we grew up in the eighties, like in the nineties, everything was all about like a corporation mm -hmm. and you being fed stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think now people are realizing like, like eating at home and like making stuff at home. I just think things are going to get like smaller, like smaller and slower and in like an easier way. I don't know if that makes any sense, mm -hmm. but I, I don't know. I hope, I hope there's an outcome of this. That's a lot better. I, I honestly, and I do honestly feel that once this is over, we're going to see like, like human happiness at like an all time high. I hope you're right, man. Cause, but a plus for what you were saying about this, about uh, like interactive like schools and everything like that. No more school shooters. Saving lives. No, but it's just a matter of time before one of them shoots up it. their own house. Yeah, or <sighs> whatever. So you know what I mean? Harder. I'm just like that's dark, right? But it's true. Yeah. Well, like, I mean, uh, I tried to lighten the mood up by going yeah. dark. I mean, there's so many stories of like pedophiles getting into those classrooms and like exposing themselves to like little kids because, and then they get off. You know, it's like in the schools, like in the virtual learning, because oh. anybody can get into it if you get the passcode or oh whatever. really yeah it's like microsoft okay. teams it's like a web it's oh. like an email you have to I don't log know how into these things work yeah uh -huh. not out of the game a while yeah well that's a horrible You're like not for like somebody as young as you are like to take this off topic for a second but sure. like to for somebody as young as you are you're like really not good with like technology or, I feel like. or am i do i play stupid i don't know <laughs> no i don't um, feel like I don't feel like you are. No, I'm probably not. You're real basic. Am I basic? Super basic. We just didn't, like, that wasn't a huge, like, you area my, in our you house. You had MySpace code? No. That was, I just wasn't a huge thing in the household. It uh -huh. was like, like, AIM was like the hot thing, and I wasn't even really huge on that. Once I got a girlfriend on it, uh, it wasn't a big thing. Girlfriend on it? Yeah, like I found a girlfriend. How we all found girlfriends on yeah. there, like from like Indiana. Uh -huh. You think it was a dude? I hope so. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but I don't know. But no, I I worked with computers and stuff. Like I could like run a PowerPoint when uh -huh. I was like in elementary school because like where I, I grew up had a lot of computers and uh -huh. stuff. But, just, it, it wasn't but if no this interest. goes more into virtual, getting even out of the school, how would you adapt now? I mean, like if I had to do it? Uh-huh. Like, like, no, 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 no. Not if you had to do it, but like, say our job goes away. Mm -hmm. Our job's not going away. Say and you did, can't do your job anymore. <laughs> I was just saying, <laughs> like, unfortunately, and, and uh -huh. that's one thing I was also thinking about too, is like, this is all going awful and everyone's losing their jobs, but like, un fortunately and unfortunately like our jobs are going to be around for at least another hundred years yeah. until they can create a robot to get into the spaces we can get into <laughs> they have one that's drilling hanger anchors that's fine that's fine i'd like to try and see him in a plaster ceiling crawl off around air ducts to hang an anchor yeah. not just like doo -doo -doo. we have a very specialized yeah we skill. have skill uh -huh. yeah so that's what i'm saying it's just like our occupation is going to be okay at least for a while unless they decide not to do it anymore I don't think that would ever happen. I don't know. Hmm. So if like they, if they defund the police and then they decide like, Hey, I don't want to pay taxes anymore on the fire department. Uh -huh. Then who's going to make the rules to do that? Granted, it's a high chance, right? It, but I'm I, just saying, it's a low if, chance. I mean, yeah. So yeah. that's a low chance of that happening, yeah. but they have like, if people aren't working and they're not paying taxes, mm -hmm. then where is that money coming from that's not coming from those small businesses mm -hmm. like the mom and pops that are doing that that are paying the taxes for the those those services because that's ultimately what it comes down to and i think we're gonna have to bring that up more in the next episode and it all goes downhill from there right do you so, volunteer firefighters get, do they get paid no mm -hmm. so we still have volunteer called, firefighters huh we would still have volunteer firefighters that's if people decide they want to do it anymore but the yeah. engines and stuff don't get paid they have to get paid from somewhere too right I know, they'd have and to they're upkeep. they're expensive oh, yeah. and the upkeep's expensive I understand. so who's doing that but i don't, I don't think we're ever going to hit that point it happens all the time in america yeah when give me give me one annapolis city did it like just a couple years ago they were talking about disbanding the union and getting but did they it got real close and they'd let go a lot of people i mean this is the end we have to go we'll bring it back up in the next one part three 
Part three. Three? Three.